First of all, when I became a pastor of a very small Pentecostal congregation in West London in the early 1950s, I had a serious ongoing problem with depression. I know none of you have ever struggled with depression, but be patient with me, I did. And it threatened to destroy my ministry because I had this continual sense, I'm a failure, I won't succeed, I can't do it. And I struggled and struggled. I did not know the answer, but I was directed to a passage in Isaiah, <coughs> chapter 61. What I thank God for is I always had the Bible and I always turned to the Bible and I always accepted the Bible as authoritative and final. That has protected me and preserved me through many different problems and situations. But it's this famous passage which Jesus quoted in the synagogue in Nazareth, <coughs> Isaiah chapter 61, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn. To console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. And as I was reading that passage, God showed me that's your problem. It's a spirit of heaviness, a spirit of grief, an unhappy spirit. And let me tell you, the, the protection is a garment of praise. When you wear a garment of praise, that spirit cannot have access to you. But I had grown up, I can't go into all my background, but I have exposed myself in many ways to demons. And there was this spirit of heaviness. Then God brought to me the passage in Joel chapter 2 verse 32, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. And so in my desperation all alone, I called on the name of the Lord. I said, Lord, deliver me from this spirit of heaviness. And something stirred inside me in my chest. I let out a kind of mixture of a sob and a groan and I felt something like a dark cloud lifting from me. And I realized I had been delivered from a spirit of heaviness or a spirit of mourning or a spirit of grief.